As the years pass, you know, it never is easy. The deep wounds of September 11 slowly become scars. And healing is really what it's all about. Always there. You know, it's a traumatic shock to your system. It's a always present. A brain injury, if you will, that you have to figure out how to deal with. But it's how we choose to remember this day that makes all the difference. And that's what you try to do is eventually get away from from the bad memories about it and think the good memories about Lauren. Let's remember 9-11 for the brave men and women. She earned a hero badge for sure. I, they all did. Like Jack's wife, Lauren Grenkolis, who came together with strangers to defeat hate. They did the most American thing in that they voted and they also planned their revolt so that when they attacked the hijackers, they did it over a rural area, which to me was so selfless on their part. On a beautiful sunny day, Lauren heads back home to California after going to her grandmother's funeral in New Jersey. She boards United Airlines Flight 93, a plane she wasn't even supposed to be on. She never got to an airport early, and on this day she did and got put on the earlier flight which she was delighted about. I mean, she phoned home, left me a message saying, you know, um, you know, on the earlier flight, what time I'll get in. I'm looking forward to being home. The second message she would leave this day had a different tone. She said, you know, Jack, pick up, honey. Okay, I just want to let you know there's a little problem on the plane. After learning about the hijacking, she makes a final call to loved ones before reaching her final resting place. Even in moments of her peril, she wanted to comfort me, leave me the message that I want you to go on if I don't get through this. Don't let them get you too. And she said, I just love you more than anything. Know that. Please tell my family I love them too. Goodbye, honey. Listening to this message, Jack says he looks up and on the news was the crash site in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. And that's when I knew that there's no way anyone could have survived that and that Lauren was on that plane. His loss this day, twofold. We were going to have a child that would, would be 20 in April. Lauren was three months pregnant with their first child. There was that difficulty in losing that child, which I would find later on over the last 20 years was harder than I expected. 20 years later, Jack reflects. He can imagine Lauren's leadership on that plane as she helped stop terrorists from reaching our nation's capital. And I know Lauren would have been grateful to have given her life to inspire others, that's for sure. I don't know if we'll ever be able to make sense of this tragedy. The day was horrific for everyone. And the scars from September 11th will never fully go away. But when we share the memories of our heroes, she was always there to, to give selflessly. The healing process becomes a little easier. You're dealt certain cards in life and you have to play them. Uh, you, you've got to try to, to move on in their memory and, and Lauren's memory really made it possible for me to move forward.